we've seen uh, House Republicans have a very difficult time this year to patch pass much of anything. Uh, but what what's happened on the border bill this week is that the center of gravity within the House Republican conference has shifted so far to the right that even if it's a small group, it's a vocal group. Michelle Bachman, Steve King, they're connected to the grassroots. We used to always expect backbenchers or people like Michelle Bachman, who's not even running for re-election to not have that much power in the House. The way it was constructed was very top down and it doesn't work that way anymore. Yeah, I mean, it's a combination of things. And in a new way, right, this is sort of deja vu all over again. This is just the latest example. Think back to the shutdown and the, the Plan B vote. All of the votes where John Boehner has not been able to herd the cats in his caucus to get the votes to pass a Republican bill. Uh, and so, you know, like Bob says, it is this, this, this center of gravity that's very far to the right. These House Republicans who are conservative, but most of them do want to compromise, do want to govern, are still afraid of what the Republican primary voters back home are going to think if they're not on the side of the sort of most flamboyant conservatives, the Michelle Bachmans of the world, what does that say about them? Does it mean they're a squish? Does it mean they're a traitor to conservatism? So they're going to fall on that side if they don't have a strong incentive not to. Boehner has a laid back style as speaker. He also doesn't like to pass things with Democratic votes, although he's had to do that several times. And so that means that he's had to repeatedly yank these bills that he didn't have the votes for.